Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Odessa and today I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful bag. Here are the materials that I am going to use. I have this metal hand uh, handbag handle or metal clamp. I'm not sure what it's called but I had this for a long time and I finally have the right yarn to make this bag. So let me just measure it for you. It is just tiny so it's about seven and a half or eight it's yeah it's seven and a half inches long and then the height is just about three inches you can get this from amazon or probably etsy and the yarn i will be using is katia sunset it has a uh, glass beads on it someone gave it to me so I'm, I am using it and my crochet hook is 4 millimeter or G hook. So let's get started. I'm so excited to use this yarn. It's so beautiful. So I will be using the yarn from the outside. And from the inside so I will be holding them together so two strands of yarn held together because I only have one cake so <laughs> I'm gonna try to use it all and I want my yarn to be a little bit thicker because this yarn is I believe fingering weight yarn only so let's start off with a slip knot So here is the label of the yarn. I am not familiar with it. It's my first time using it. But it doesn't say if it is fingering weight yarn. It's only 150 grams. So it's not a lot. The color is like old rose. It's like old pink rose. Oh guys, let me show you this cute unicorn yarn ball that my best friend gave me isn't she so adorable and it's just small and it's perfect for the yarn cake i have usually my yarns are huge but this one is small so it's perfect i can finally use it so cute thank you elisa for buying me this one all right let's go crocheting so without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So I'm going to start with the chain of 24. So if you have a smaller handle, you can just adjust your chain. Or if you have a bigger handle, you can just adjust it. So I'm going to go check the chain that I made to make sure that it's fit inside the hand. So let's start with chain 24. If you have the same size with my metal frame, so you have to do chain 24. Otherwise, if it's smaller or bigger, you have to adjust your chain. So I am working with the bottom of the bag. So make sure that your chain is fit inside the frame just like that next row you are just going to do single crochet across guys please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give me some like and hit the bell button so you are notified when I have my next tutorial I will try my best to make a tutorial once a week or twice a week
I have so many in line to do, but I always do the easiest one and easy, yes, to follow. If you guys have suggestions or want me to make a tutorial for a project, just let me know in the comments below. We will try to figure out how to make it. I have a wedding dress that I wanted to do, but it's going to take me a while to do the video on that. Maybe I'll do a uh, crochet along with it someday. But for now, we'll do a smaller project. Alright, so I have finished my first row, so here's what it looks like, and for the next round, we, go, we are going to start with chain 1, turn your work around, and in your first stitch, you are going to do one single crochet, and one single crochet for the rest of your stitches. Go ahead and finish yours, and I will meet you at the next round. So you are just going to keep repeating this pattern or rounds for about, I think I did 22 rounds of just single crochet back and forth until you reach the length that you needed for your metal frame. So here's mine. As you can see, it fits inside the frame. So I did a total of 36 rows for the single crochet. Because the holes in my frame is, I think, 36 or 37. So I match my rows into the holes of my frame. So that's how I figured it out and then I did 24 for the sides all right so let me put this away and we will proceed with the pattern you're not going to do any special increased or decrease we will just keep continuing to do the rounds and we will just keep repeating the same over and over again until you get the desired height that you needed for your bag okay so first round I am going to do one single crochet this is going to be in our corner and then do another single single crochet in the same stitch and then one single crochet across until you reach the end of this row and then you will do another corner which is two single crochet in the last stitch you will repeat your corner four times so you have total of four corners which is just two single crochet if you guys noticed i am trying to talk quietly because it is about uh two o'clock in the morning <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to do the recording while everyone is asleep so i don't have a lot of noises if you heard something it's just my baby and not a ghost <laughs> so let's continue
all right so we are in our next corner so that's the last stitch now go back to that stitch where i just put my single crochet and do another single crochet and that is our corner All right, now on the side, you are going to do just one single crochet for a total of 36. So 36 single crochet. Do not count the corner as your stitch for now. So each of these rows count as one single crochet. So I have a total of 36 rows. So I'm going to do 36 single crochet across. So go ahead and finish your bottom part of the bag for the corners and I will meet you at the next round. So don't forget to add your corners. So here it is. So let's continue. In our next round we are just going to do one single crochet all the way around so start with the first stitch where your slip stitch is your first single crochet so go back where your slip stitch and do one single crochet and for the rest of your stitches it's just one single crochet you don't have to do any more corners on this one okay you just need to do a single crochet all the way around so go ahead and finish this round and I'll meet you at the next one so I have finished that round so next round will be single crochet and a long single crochet all right so I have finished my one single crochet all the way around now we are going to slip stitch to join for the next round we are going to do a single crochet on the very first stitch and on the next stitch we are going to do the long single crochet so long single crochet is actually at the bottom of your single crochet not on the top not on the inside of the loop okay so the regular single crochet you go in the loop but for long single crochet, you have to go in the bottom of your single crochet. So you're just gonna do that all the way around. So regular single, uh, single crochet. And then do your long single crochet. Okay, so single crochet. And then long single crochet. You're gonna just repeat that all the way around okay so I have finished that round so this is what it looks like so if it is a bit quite fast to you guys let me know I can probably redo the video all right, so chain one for our next row. Now you are going to do single crochet on your first single crochet. 
all right so the tricky part is here you are going to insert your hook on the long single crochet see that single crochet there's two lines so the left one you're gonna insert your hook into that left one it's a little bit hard hard at first and then insert your hook into the right side of the other long single crochet and pull through your yarn and do the single crochet and that's your first upside down V the next one is you're gonna do regular single crochet on that single crochet right there okay so don't get confused we have regular single crochet and we have long single crochet all right next you are gonna ins insert your hook into the left side of that long single crochet and grab the other one i mean insert your hook to the other one just on the one side pull through your yarn and do a single crochet then single crochet on the next insert your hook into the left side insert your hook into the right side and pull through and single crochet so you're just gonna repeat that all the way around you're just gonna repeat the same two rounds over and over again so you're gonna do the single crochet long single crochet and you are going to do your upside down v after the previous round don't forget to put your single crochet into the single crochet okay otherwise you are going to lose your stitches so here is the slow motion so you guys can see it again and probably it's better so we are going to do our, our single crochet on the top of our upside down v and then single crochet and the next single crochet so here's the tip if you are doing your upside down single crochet for your next round you are going to put your regular single crochet and then your regular single uh, crochet from the previous round you will be putting your long single crochet in there i hope that makes sense i have struggled at first because i crochet tight so it's probably better if you loosen your grip a little bit on the first row of your upside down v because as you can see in the video i was struggling to insert my hook so it's better to do a little bit loose and not so tight Alright, go ahead and finish this round. You can just go back to the video and watch it over again if you didn't get it. Okay, so here it is. I have finished my round of upside down V. I call it upside down V, but I think it's called arrow stitches. Our next round will be just single crochet and long single crochet. So let me show you real quick. So chain one on our first stitch you're going to do the long single crochet next on the top of your upside down V 
you're going to put a regular single crochet so that was the tip I was telling you about okay so next single crochet we'll do our long single crochet on the top of your upside down V we're going to do just the regular single crochet so you were just gonna repeat this over and over again make sure that your upside down V will be on the top of your upside down V and your upside down V should have a regular single crochet and your sing uh, regular single crochet should have a long single crochet okay so this is what it looks like so you will, you will just repeat this over and over again until you get the desired height that you needed for your bag As you keep going your bag will start to form like a square or rectangular on your first couple rounds it's probably looking like flat so don't worry it will go up and it will be shaped it will shape like rectangular So I have finished my bag and this is what it looks like. As you can see, I put a stitch markers for my four corners. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to show you real quick the upside down V. Okay, so... Here's a closed up look. So the top of your upside down V, there it is. Let me just show you. Should be, see they're all in line. So make sure your upside down V are in line. It's easy to see if you make a mistake. And all your regular single crochet should be in the middle or in between the two upside down V. So here it is inside. I put stitch marker on my corner so I counted 37 stitches across and then 24 stitches both side so 24 24 37 and 37 across and it fits inside my frame i'm just gonna sew that i'm gonna sew the side of it across to the metal frame and we are going to leave the side undone Okay, just like so. So I have, I sew it like that. You can go ahead and add lining if you want, but for this stitch, I don't think you need lining because it's pretty much really tight and there's no holes on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me some like and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys!